Seven months ago, Ukrainian journalist Yanina Sokolova found out she had cancer. Struggling with her own illness, Yanina realized that cancer patients needed her help and support. It was the first day after the surgery. Being in an intensive care unit, I thought, listen, this is a clear sign. I spoke with the heavens. It was a sign that my illness could be helpful to people. It was then when I came up with the project. I didn't know its name, but I already knew that it would be a film, a book, and music. These are three factors that make people better culturally, improve their souls and brains. Filming the movie I, Nina, or Ya, Nina in Ukrainian, begins this summer at the Odessa Film Festival, and it will be released in the spring of 2020. Sokolova, who will star in the movie, will share the story of her fight for life. It will be a story about happiness, about love. It will be a story about strength and struggle. We will inspire you to make your life worth living and give you a message that will sound like this. You need to live every day as though it were your last day. Yanina's best friend, the frontman of the band Druha Rika, Valery Kharchishin, will star as her husband. His song, The Seventh Day, will be included in the soundtrack to the film. They invited me not only to play the part of her husband, but also to be responsible for the emotional part of this project. I immediately suggested the song The Seventh Day. They didn't react to it at first, and we didn't know whether it was suitable for the film. But once, when Yanina was interviewed, she used the words from the song. In this project, everything is fitting together like a pyramid. The film will feature a composition based on the poem by name, written by Ukrainian poet Vasil Simonenko, who also had cancer. The project, however, has not only a creative but also a social component. Yanina and her team support the legalization of medical cannabis, as well as initiatives to improve palliative care, the accessibility of medication, and psychological support for cancer patients. Visitors to this presentation could take a test to identify their cancer risk and were reminded of when medical examinations should be conducted. Regular screenings help people identify a disease in its early stages, which facilitates treatment. Because if you treat early breast cancer, you can be cured with surgery. During the treatment of a stage 3 to 4 breast cancer, we must also use both chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Project participants launched a social media campaign and called on cancer patients to share their inspirational stories of the fight for life. Reported by Yulia Krushkova, UATV.